Hello YouTubers, Alex here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get any console game emulated and playing on your PC with no surveys, no passwords, no bullshit, okay? Basically, you've got a few questions to ask yourself to begin with. Uh, the first one requires you to be on Google or to click the links um, I'll provide for you in the description. So, you got to decide what console you want to play on today. So today, I'm going to be playing on a GameCube. Okay, so you want to type in GameCube emulator, this can also work for PS2, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo DS, anything like that. A uh, primary emulator for GameCube, very popular for GameCube and Wii, is the Dolphin emulator. And once you click Dolphin emulator, you'll come onto a screen like this. Again, this can be worked for PS2, you literally just type in PS2 uh, emulator. I know PS2 and GameCube are the most popular, so I'll show you these methods. Um, PCSX2 is definitely the best uh, PlayStation 2 emulator, so go ahead and download that one. And then you're going to be faced with a choice as to whether you want to download, if you have a 32 bit system or a 64 bit system. You can find this out by going to Control Panel, System and Security, System. Then under System Type, it will say whether you have the 32 bit or 64 bit operating system. If you have a 36, uh, 32, click 64, and if you have a 64, click 86. And um, once you've downloaded that, you can obviously go through all the wizard and stuff, and then you'll come up to a thing that looks like this. Um, then you click open, and um, obviously you need your ISO. So then you've got to decide what game you want to play. So let's say you want to play How I Put in the Chamber of Secrets. And then you just type in GameCube ROM or PS2 ROM, whatever console you want to play it on. And you can choose out of uh, EMU Paradise is a good one, or Dope ROMs is another good one. So if you click Dope ROMs, download ROM, and then you'll download it and it'll be here. And you want to click it and just click e Extract 2, and then Desktop. You might need Power ISO for this, guys. Um, if you've watched my other tutorials on games relating to this, you'll know that I've downloaded Power ISO. If you have any problem throughout the process of this, download Power ISO and it will fix it for you, but I'm not 100% sure that you do actually need that. But I'll put it in the description for you either way if you do. Alright guys, so that's all extracted to the desktop. So what you want to do is obviously go to your desktop or wherever it is that you installed it. And you should see how I put on the Chamber of Secrets or whatever game. Excuse my desktop, it is absolutely mashed up with loads of stuff right now. Um, so go ahead and drag it, grab it and drag it into there and then it will open the game itself for you there. And that is basically it guys, there is no fucking complication. EA Games Challenge Everything! Yeah, that's loud. Uh, but basically as you can see I'm gonna close up but that is the game running and you can set up if you have an Xbox 360 controller I've just plugged mine in you can click GC gamepad and then click say gamepad there and then on your Xbox controller you'll click A and then you click A on that and you click B and then you click B on that X, X on that, Y, X on that you know and you can go ahead and set up the controller so it does all that and then once you've done that, you can literally play the game as if you were literally, you know, playing it on a console, guys. It's really that straightforward. So if you've enjoyed this video, guys, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Always appreciate it. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this works for you. And if you have any problems, go ahead and leave a comment. Or I'll leave my Steam in the... Uh in the description for you so you can go ahead and add me up on steam and message me that way um and i'll be able to sort it out for you that way guys so uh thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video guys bye bye